President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. On the court is now in session. Je déclare l'audience ouverte. Today, the chamber continues to hear the remaining testimony of the uh, civil party, Unran, and possibly we will start Après hearing quoi, the testimony si of another civil party, that is through TCCP 273. Greffier, Mr. M. Hoy, please report the attendance Monsieur of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Greffier, Mr. Le President, greffier. for today's proceedings, Monsieur all parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunti is present in Monsieur the holding Nunti cell downstairs. He has requested to have his direct presence in the courtroom. This waiver has been delivered to the greffier. The civil party who is to conclude La her testimony, that is Madame Onron, is present and ready. Est présente dans le prétoire et se tient prête. We also have a reserve civil party today. There is two TCCP 273. Thank you. Je vous remercie. President, thank you, Mr. M. Hoy. The chamber Monsieur. now decides on the request by Nunchir. The chamber has received a waiver la from Nunchir dated 28 May 2015, which notes that due to his health, that is, had back, back pain, he cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to eff effectively participate in future hearings, he requests to have his direct presence in the proceedings on the 28th, 5th, 2015. Having seen the medical report of Nun Chi by the duty doctor at the ECCC, that is 28 May 2015, who notes that Nun Chi has a chronic back pain and cannot sit for long and recommends that Nun Chi shall be allowed to follow the proceedings from the room downstairs. Pursuant to the above info information and based on the internal rule 815 of the ECCC internal rule, the Chamber grants Nun Chi his request to follow the proceedings remotely and audiovisual means, and the AB unit personnel are instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nguyen Chi can follow the proceedings remotely that applies for the whole day. The Chamber now hands the floor to the lead co-lawyers for civil parties to continue putting questions to the civil party. You may proceed. Much Savannery, thank you, Mr. President. Merci and good morning, Mr. President, Merci, Your Honours, President. and everyone Madame in the courtroom. Bonjour, and bonjour once again, good morning, Madame Un Ron. Yesterday, you answered some of my Hier, questions avez, regarding the working conditions and the working hours at the first January Dam work site. Sur le chantier du barrage du 1er janvier. You also confirmed that in the evening, that is after dinner, there was a livelihood meeting. Il y avait une Can you elaborate a little bit further on the meeting? How was it organized and who chairs the meeting? Qui l'organisait et qui la présidait? Answer. Such a meeting. Réponse did not last that long. The Cette longest was half an hour. Elle durait environ as une we heure. had to hurry uh, to continue Il working. Se dépêcher de continuer à travailler. It was our group chief who involved in sharing the meeting. De groupe qui la réunion. Question. Question. And during those lively food uh, meetings, what topics were discussed? Or were any instructions given to the members of the group? Aux du groupe? 
answer. Réponse. The main topic was for us to actively involve in the work and not to suivant. get sick that often. And we had to try our best to uh, complete the work full time, and that we would be criticized if we seem to uh, fall sick often. Si nous trop souvent malade. Question. Question. And during the time that you worked at the first January Dam work site, sur le chantier du barrage du 1er janvier, that you started working in the early morning, then resumed très tôt le after matin, lunch, and resumed again le déjeuner, after dinner. Et également après le dîner. Was it constant? I mean, it remains the same, the fixed time to start and to uh, conclude your working hours? Answer. Réponse. The work started from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., then we uh, broke for lunch and Ensuite, returned at 12. And we continued working until 5 p.m. Question. And allow me to Question. get a clarification from you. Yesterday you part. said that around 4.30 a whistle was blown to wake you up and then you had to walk to uh, the work site and you arrived by dawn and started working. However, you just uh, replied to my question whether the uh, the Cela start dit, time and the stop time remains the same. And you said si that you started working at 7 a.m. Si so si during the entire time you worked at the first senior dam work site, did the working hours, the starting hours, or the ending time to vary? Answer. It varied, Réponse. as I just uh, stated. Sometimes we had to wake up at 4.30. Nous nous 4 when the whistle was blown. However, some sifflet. people who already concluded their uh, daily through cubic meter quota the previous day Ce didn't have to, to go in the veille, early hour. But for those who didn't uh, complete their work quota, would have uh, to, to go. The previous uh, day work before they resumed the new uh, work quota. So uh, that that depends on the result uh, from the previous day's work. Question. Question. In relation to the food uh, regime, you told the court yesterday that gruel was given to you and your colleagues. À vous et à vos collègues. Did all the members in your group receive the same food si ration or, or and whether the group chief, that is the small unit, uh, group, the small unit chief and the big unit chief receives the same food ration or was their food ration différentes. different from yours? Answer, of course, it was Réponse. different. For the members, we ate uh, gruel, and chiefs of the small and big unit ate boiled rice. And all the members uh, of the group ate gruel. Mais tous les membres du groupe mangeaient de la bouillie. Question. If you and members Question. of your unit 
only si had to grow to eat for the three meals. Ne que did de la you have uh, trois fois did par the jour. food? Was the food sufficient for you to have enough strength to work through the day? Or was you allowed to uh, find other supplementary diet? Answer. We could not uh, find any supplementary diet. We were only given uh, And uh, in fact, I knew a person working in the kitchen moi, je so, connaissais quelqu'un uh, qui travaillait en cuisine. En général, c'est le roof. That is the leftover from général, the bore rice for the small and big unit teeth. Then I would uh, secretly get the crust rice and then I would uh, ground it in my hand and tie it up uh, on my scarf. Uh, And then je I would uh, eat it uh, secretly at the, the work site. Question. So you actually uh, took uh, the ice crust, rice crust uh, secretly. And why did you have uh, to do that or to steal it? And what happened if you were caught uh, doing so? Et que se serait-il passé si l'on vous avait pris en flagrant délit? Answer. Because if I were to ask for it, I, it, it would not be given si to me. It would be left there on Ce the roof. Sur le toit. And I had to, to take it. If, if I were to get caught, then I would be killed, as I would be accused si of betraying on car. But I did it out of hunger. I risked my life in doing so. Question. I have a, a, a question in, the, in regard to question. carrying the earth. You said that the small and big unit chiefs measure the land and assigns to members of the uh, group and the unit. Did the chiefs themselves involved in carrying the dirt or digging uh, the ground with their members? Aux côtés des membres de leur groupe ou pas Answer. The big unit chief uh, did Réponse. not do it, and the small unit pas. chief sometimes only carried the dirt for one or two rounds and disappeared somewhere. Et puis ils disparaissaient. They didn't uh, do anything much, and we did not know where they went to. They just uh, disappeared from uh, the work site and returned in the evening. Question. Question. On the issue of uh, clothing, and I have some questions uh, for you. Would you have clothing versus given to you and uh, your work colleagues. Des vêtements vous étaient ils donnés à vous et vos collègues? Was the clothing provided sufficient for work purpose? Ces vêtements étaient-ils suffisants vous permettaient-ils de travailler correctement? Answer. We only had two sets of clothes. Nous n'avions que deux tenues. Old and the other Nous one was very old and there were patches at the back of the pants tenues, and I had uh, an old scarf Nous which was also a patch and during the uh, rainy season when I was Pendant soaked pluies, I didn't have a trompé, any other set of clothes to change. Je ne pas me je Although pas I tried a set when I returned to the sleeping quarter, I had to change it, although it was still je wet. Quand même me And then we would just uh, lie down mouillé. on the sleeping mat. Je alors me sur ma natte. Question. So if you were to sleep Question. in your uh, wet clothes, Did vous deviez it dormir have any dans des negative mouillés, uh, impact si on your health uh, in general? Avoir un impact néfaste sur votre santé, n'est-ce pas? Answer. Réponse. And during such a period, we had to be in uh, wet clothes. 
every day. So sometimes I had abdominal pain. And of course, uh, lice mal au ventre, il y avait des puces, was everywhere. Il y avait des and un peu partout. my body sometimes uh, was covered with lice uh, from head to toe. Parfois, mon corps était recouvert de puces, des pieds à la tête. And we had to uh, resort to sometimes use ashes from the firewood Nous parfois prendre des to cendres wash the clothes in order to get rid of the lice. Pour nous débarrasser de ces puces. Question. I'd like to ask you some questions in relation to uh, J'aimerais vous parler à présent du temps qui vous était accordé pour vous reposer. Were you given any day off during the period that you worked there, for example, how many days of per month? Vous de repos. Pourriez-vous nous dire si c'est le cas combien de jours de repos vous aviez par mois? Answer. There were no Saturdays or Sundays uh, during the regime. We had to work every day. And sometimes when I was so fatigued, I had to, to, to lie to them that I had serious abdominal pain, so I would be allowed to rest. And if I had to attend a meeting and I couldn't do it, then si they would reduce the gruel as part of my food uh, ration. There were no Saturdays or Sundays uh, from month to month. Il n'y avait pas de samedi d'un mois à l'autre. Question. Yesterday you also said that chief of Chiefs of the big and small units measured the, the land plot to assign to the members. And to your knowledge, do you know from which level the big unit chief received the instructions on the, uh, the land plot and its measurement? Answer, I don't have that knowledge as to whether uh, he received instructions from which level. I only knew that uh, land was measured and a plot of four cubic meters was allocated to each member of the group. And we did not dare ask them any questions regarding uh, the assignment. Question. Did you know or did you hear that The big unit chief had to attend uh, a meeting somewhere in order to receive uh, work instructions. And if so, how often did it happen? Et si oui, pourriez-vous nous dire à quelle fréquence ces réunions avaient lieu? Answer. Of course, he did attend the meetings, although I am not sure how many months he had to attend those meetings. Combien de fois ces And sometimes I didn't know mois. whether he attended the, the meetings or not. Usually when he Je returned, si he would uh, return to read work instructions, rentrait, although there was uh, never any instruction to increase our food uh, ration. Cela dit, il n'y avait aucune instruction quant à une éventuelle augmentation de nos rations alimentaires. Question. You just said uh, you Question. knew he wants to attend uh, meetings in order to receive work instructions, and usually he came with instructions on work assignment. And how did you know that? Answer. I knew it uh, from a cook who was my friend. She, would tell, she, she told me that, that today, for example, the big unit chief attended the, the meeting, so his uh, food uh, would be available. Et elle savait que suite à ces réunions, nous aurions de la nourriture. Question. During the rainy Question. season, 
And while it was raining, will you allow to Parce rest and not to continue working while it was raining? Answer, no, we Réponse, were not no. allowed uh, to rest. Nous pas le droit if we were allowed to rest, it means that we could not complete our work quota. Si nous we had reposer, to work nous through the rain. Le quota de and we had Il to do whatever we could. Nous faire ce que nous we were never allowed to, to take a refuge, to take shelter under a tree while it was raining. Question. You said that you worked uh, through the rain Question. and that you had vous to carry the dirt or to dig the ground and to carry it up the embankment. Can you elaborate a little bit further on the how you worked through the rain? Un peu de la façon dont vous sous la pluie? Answer. We worked uh, through the rain, and you Réponse. can imagine uh, when, uh, you when you how difficult it was uh, to engage in hard labor, that is to dig uh, the ground when it was not raining. And when it was raining and the water pas, was uh, needed, pleuvait, it would be extremely difficult. Mouillé, and difficile of course, uh, women, the women, we usually had our menstrual period, and you could see blood from the menstruation mixed with the water while we were working through the brain. And that uh, not, not only happened to me, but to all the to other uh, women who were working in uh, the group. And sometimes we had to uh, share uh, a piece of cloth uh, and use it as a pad to stop it from flowing and mixing with the rain water. You can imagine how terrible the situation was. Question. You said you had to Question. dig the ground uh, in, like in a hole. And of course, the hole uh, contained uh, rain water when it was raining. It seems like you were uh, working in a kind of a well since there was water in it. Am I correct in saying so? Answer, yes, we were uh, soaked uh, oui, while working, digging the ground uh, during the Lorsque heavy rain. Sous la pluie. Despite the outcome of the work, whether it was uh, little or not, we had to continue working through the rain. Soit, beaucoup, peu, and we were not allowed to take shelter under a tree. Question. You were instructed to work through the rain. Did any uh, cadre or your unit chief provide you with a raincoat si or an umbrella? Chef, des cadres vous ont fourni un imperméable ou une, un parapluie? Answer, no. None whatsoever. We Réponse, never saw non, any raincoat or not uh, even a plastic sheet. imperméable ni la moindre feuille de plastique. Question. You said Question. that uh, it was very difficult to carry the dirt while it was raining since the ground was very slippery. Did your group chief or unit chief or cadres in charge take any measure in order to provide safety to the workers at the work site? Answer. No. No measure was taken in terms of uh, safety or to prevent any uh, slippery 
we had to to do it by ourselves and we had to to carry the debt and to continue completing our work a quota and when it was uh, very when it was really worse, it means when the water level really uh, empiraient, rose up, le we de had just to, to get the water from uh, above the edge of the uh, flat water. De de pour la terre. Question. So... Due to the uh, serious work condition Question. compounded by the Les insufficient food ration, did you ever fall sick when you were working uh, there at the work site? Et au vu de tout cela, avez-vous jamais été malade Answer, sur le chantier? I got sick uh, twice uh, during uh, the heavy rain as I was pleuvait. so soaked and I got high fever. Beaucoup. And que the medical staff gave me rubber pillar that drops. And despite the ineffectiveness of the medicine, I could not uh, stay idle for Dans long. I had to go back to the, the work site to uh, complete my work quota. And sometimes I was given liquid from an orange-like bottle. De Question. So you were sick and you didn't uh, want to stay long at the sleeping shelter as you had to rush back to work. Vous au so dortoir, would you be called uh, to attend a meeting when you were sick and you could not go to work? Que vous ne pas aller au if so, vous uh, what instruction was given to you si or oui, what measures did they have uh, for the uh, sick uh, workers? Prises pour les qui Answer. Those who were sick had their food ration reused. La ration alimentaire des Although our normal gruel was watery, Notre the food était for the sick people clair, was even worse. La des and était the amount encore. was also reused. Et elle était, uh, on one day, I was sick for the whole day, and I, did, I could not attend the meeting, journée, and the unit chief was uh, not there on that day as well. However, usually the main message would be général, not to get sick that often, otherwise we si would be sent for refreshing. Sinon, on risque d'être envoyé en rééducation. Question. So if you became sick rather often, Donc, you si would be sent to be. You would be sent for refreshing. Did they give you any clear instruction as where those sick people would be sent to for refreshing? understanding. A refashioning means that the person will be sent to be killed. Compris, the, the, the words that they use at the time, exécuté. namely a refashioning, a re education, or tempering, meant the same thing that is, the person will be sent to be killed. Façon, terme, and it did not mean that the person would be re educated in its literal sense. Some Question. And while you were working at the work site, Question. did you see or observe any member of your group disappear? Disparaître des membres de votre group? Answer. Yes. A person oui. became seriously ill and was sent to a hospital. And in fact, she became sick. Cette personne 
from this entry and it was a real sickness and she did not pretend to be ill and they said that she was sent to the district hospital and I never saw her return so I did not know whether she recovered from her illness or whether she, er, she died. And that si happened uh, to two workers in my group. Question. You just stated that you witnessed two incidents. Question. Vous venez de dire que vous avez été témoin de deux incidents. Did you hear that there were many other incidents like what you just, just stated. Avez-vous entendu dire qu'il y en avait encore beaucoup d'autres, d'autres incidents semblables à ceux que vous venez de décrire? Answer. I witnessed Réponse. only these two people. They were referred to the district hospital and ces they were gone. I do not know where they were put in. Je ne sais pas où on les a envoyés. Question. I have another question in relation to your Avocate, work site. While you were working there, de did you notice any heavy machinery used to build the dam? Y avait pour bâtir le barrage des outils ou des grosses Answer. machines? No, I have never seen any heavy machinery. Non, Man power was used. People were used to carry earth, bulldozers or any heavy machinery were not in operation. Council. The dam was built to keep water in Stung Jinet. You stated that there was no heavy machinery and manpower was used. So how could it be built by not using heavy machinery? Comment est-ce possible? Comment est-il possible de construire un barrage sans engin? Answer. The water was kept by the, the dam which was built. Le barrage a été bâti. And uh, the planks or small locks was used to keep uh, the water as well. Et on utilisait une sorte de verrou également pour retenir les eaux. Council, thank you very much. In relation to the dam which was built, you stated that heavy machinery was not used and only manual uh, labor was used. Am I correct to say that? Answer, yes, that is correct. Manpower was used to build the dam. There was no heavy machinery. Ce barrage, il n'y avait pas de grosses machines ni de machinerie lourde. Question. In the periods that you were working Question. there, did you ever witness or know that there was a soil collab on the workers? Avez-vous jamais eu vent d'un glissement de terrain ou d'un effondrement du sol sur les sur les ouvriers tandis que vous étiez là-bas? Answer. I heard of it, but I did not witness Réponse, it pas été by témoin, myself. I heard that a soil collapse covered uh, three workers and one the person died on the spot. I heard of it, but I did not witness the incident parler, myself. De, it de happened a bit far away from Cela my place or my hall. Thank you. While you were working at that site, did you ever see any senior leaders of Khmer Rouge visit that work site? grands dirigeants Khmer Rouge se rendent en visite sur ce site. Answer yes. I witnessed. I saw those people 
but I do not know their names. I saw four of them. Je ne connais pas les noms de ces personnes, mais j'ai vu quatre d'entre elles sur le site. My colleagues told me that one individual was Pol Pot. Que l'une de ces personnes était Pol Pot. I do not know and recognize that individual or those people. Je ne connaissais pas ces personnes. They were wearing in green clothes, and one was walking. In front of the other threes, and they were in vehicle. I know their names. The individual, which was described as Paul Pot, he was a bit fat, and three guys was were walking behind him. They were not big builds. I mean, the three guys. Counsel, thank you very much, Madam Civil Party. What did they do while they were visiting that dam site? Did they talk to any workers in that work site? Ont-ils parlé avec des ouvriers sur le site de travail? Answer. They were walking on the dam to the west. Ils marchaient sur le barrage en direction de l'ouest. They did not come to visit the workers. Or asked how were how workers were. Ils ne se sont pas posés de questions ni demandé comment allaient les ouvriers. Counsel, yesterday you stated that you were working one day and there was raining. Hier vous avez dit qu'un jour, tandis que vous travaillez, il y a eu des pluies. And after that time, you were sent to work in a farm. And when you were assigned to work in the field, did you come back to work at the dam site after working in the field? Answer. When there was too much water and there was heavy raining, the workers were sent to Balang to work in the field, and I was asked and told to work in the field with other male workers. And some workers were sent to carry salts in Kampong Thom. On a envoyé certains ouvriers à Kampong Thom transporter de la terre. After you worked in the rice field in Balang district, were you assigned back to work at the dam site? Que vous avez eu terminé votre tâche dans le district de Balang, vous a-t-on demandé de revenir travailler sur le site de Balang? Answer: Yes, I went to work at the dam site for the second time. During the dry season, I was sent back to the first January dam site. Question. This is my last question. While you were working at the first January dam site for the second time, what was the food ration compared to the first time you were there? Was the food ration better than the first time you were there? Answer. The work was different from the first time. Members of the units were taken out, and only two small units were sent to work for the second time. And the gruel was even less watery, and we were told to be. More engaged in our work. And we were told to work in the place where the dam was broken, or we had to carry and fill in the deep holes. 
de la terre et de combler des trous très profonds. And I had to do the work very hard because j'ai dû travailler très très dur. It was far away. We had to walk Nous to a far distance, and as I said, uh, two small units, only two small dit, units, were sent to work at the dam site for the second time. Sur le site du barrage, la fois. Council, my last question again. Why the work? Why was the work condition harsher, and why was uh, the food ration worse? était plus difficile Answer. et pourquoi les rations alimentaires étaient-elles moins bonnes I encore Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, honors. Good morning, everyone in and around the courtroom. Good morning, Ms. Nguyen. Thank you for being here today to speak with us. I'd like to start off first just asking you one follow-up question about the visit by Pol Pot that you said you witnessed to the 1st January dam site. And I'd like to ask whether you were told in advance that there was going to be a visit that day by some officials. I saw them walking on the dam and did not talk to any unit chiefs or anyone. They were walking southward and I did not notice the unit chiefs in company. They were they were some meters away from us. Il se trouvait à quelques mètres de nous. Thank you for that. Were you told before that day that there might be a visit by some senior officials to the work site? Des dirigeants se rendent en visite sur le site. Answer yes, there were. Réponse oui. Thank you. Can you please estimate, to the best of your ability, the total number number of people that were at the first January dam worksite? Approximativement le nombre total de personnes qui se trouvaient sur le barrage du 1er janvier, sur le site de travail. Answer. To my estimate, there were 10,000 of workers. Il y avait 10 000 ouvriers. And I saw as many workers as ants. There were thousands, ten thousands of workers. Thank you. And do you know where the workers came from that were working at that first January dam? Et savez-vous d'où venaient les ouvriers qui travaillaient sur le site du barrage du 1er janvier? I do not know where they were from. Je ne sais pas d'où ils venaient. I did not dare to question their origins 
or where they were Je from. Pas osé demander ils Can you explain question, why you would not dare to ask them where they were from? Poser la question et demander d'où ils venaient. Yeah. We happened to ask, it appears that uh, we wanted to know si nous nous aventurions à poser la question, nous aurions donné l'impression que nous cherchions à obtenir des informations secrètes, alors nous aurions été envoyés en rééducation. Moi, j'étais considérée comme personne du peuple nouveau, et donc je n'osais pas poser de questions. Would it be more dangerous for a 17 April person to question something than for another type of person? From my thinking, they were in the same situation, but la situation était la these même, people ce que je Mais would have the more courage to question and ask for us. New people, we were afraid of our nous, life. Nouveau, nous pas pour notre vie. Thank you. Can you please tell us what type of work you saw people doing? at the 1st January Dam work site? Quel type de travail était accompli sur le site du barrage du 1er janvier? Qu'avez-vous vu les ouvriers faire? Answer. We were made carrying dirt. That the only task. Digging earth and carrying earth. Thank you. Yesterday, uh, you told us that you were in a mobile unit. Can you tell us what the age range of the people in your mobile unit was? It is my estimate. Only what I am saying now, I did not ask uh, other people about. Je n'ai pas posé la question à d'autres personnes. Range, uh, they were about of my age at that time. And ce the age range starts from. Well, the age range was between the 20 to 40. Entre 20 et 40 ans. Thank you for that, and thank you for specifying when you're estimating. Was your mobile unit comprised only of women, or is it both men and women? Itinérante était-elle composée uniquement de femmes, ou y avait-il des femmes et des hommes? Answer: No. No. Men at all. There were only women workers. Thank you. In your supplementary information form that you submitted to the court, you state, quote, I had to work wet to the west of the Chinit River. Upon my arrival, I had to cut trees in the jungle. Later, I dug a canal from the Chinit River to drain water out to the west, close quote. So is that correct that you did two types of work at the 1st January Dam? First, you cut trees, and then you dug, dug a canal? Answer yes, that is correct. They were not big tree as large as uh, the house pillar, and some trees were as large as our thighs. Les piliers d'une maison, certains des arbres que nous coupions avaient la taille de nos cuisses. On m'a demandé de défricher des arbres et des petits plants pour un buste pour que nous puissions diviser les parcelles afin de travailler dessus. Et pouvez-vous vous décrire 
the process of how you would go about cutting and clearing the trees? And so, we have to cut the branches of tree and uh, pile them up Réponse. in Nous devions couper les branches des different arbres places. Et les à différents endroits. And, and then uh, the land, the plots of land would be divided to Ensuite, uh, workers in big units and small units to work on. Aux ouvriers par unité, grande et petite. And were you given any tools to help you with cutting the trees and clearing them? Pour défricher, couper les arbres? Answer. We were given with Réponse. axes and sickles. On In Khmer, we call it kokok sickles. Que l'on appelle kokok en Khmer, ainsi que des haches. And when you were cutting the trees, did you have a quota of how many trees or Question. how much land you had to clear in a given day? De superficie à défricher ou de nombre d'arbres à abattre en une seule journée. Answer. No, we did not receive any quota. We had to cut trees from the morning until lunch time and in the afternoon we resumed our work until Et the evening, 5 p.m. Thank you. And moving on to the work you did digging and carrying the dirt, can you please describe for us what that work was like? Pourriez-vous nous parler, nous décrire le type de travail? Comment c'était? Answer. Réponse. As I stated before the chamber, one worker had to work on uh, for Comme cubic meters. À la chambre, and in my in our group, there would be two of us. Cubes. One is uh, one was digging the dirt, and Nous one is, one was carrying deux, the was carrying it, and we had to complete uh, that. Et il nous fallait terminer ce quota. And would you take turns with your partner in la digging and carrying? Un roulement? Creusiez-vous et portiez-vous la terre tour à tour? Yeah. Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. And did you have any tools? or animals to help you with Question, digging or carrying the dirt? Answer. We used our manual labor. C'était la main d'œuvre. C'était on utilisait seulement nos mains. Can you tell us how far you would have to carry the dirt once you Question, uh, dug the dirt or receive the dirt une fois que vous to bring it to wherever you were offloading the dirt? Combien de temps deviez-vous marcher ou quelle distance deviez-vous parcourir pour transporter la terre? Answer. The distance from where we dug the dirt and la distance entre l'endroit où nous creusions la terre dumped on the dam was about 40 meters. Était de 40 meters. And we first dug the dirt near the dam and after that we would dig the earth uh, from afar. 
Par la suite, nous creusions la terre. So the distance loin. was about 40 meters away from la the dam itself. Donc de 40 mètres. Can you estimate in one day approximately how many trips carrying dirt you would make? Estimer le nombre de voyages que vous effectuiez d'aller-retour en une seule journée en transportant de la terre? Answer. I did not care to count because uh, we were Je giving uh, the plot of land nous, in cubic meters. I did not know how cube. many shoulder poles I had to carry and then when my shoulders were hurt I used the towers to put on them and place the shoulder poles on it. Pour les placer sur mes épaules et par-dessus la palanche. Was the ground that you were carrying the dirt over flat or would you sometimes have to carry it up an embankment? Deviez-vous parfois remonter sur des berges ou transportiez-vous de la terre à partir d'un endroit qui était plat? Was steep or was the uh, the steps which we uh, climbed to bring uh, the, the dirt up to the dam? And can you estimate how much an average load of dirt would weigh on your shoulder? Pourriez-vous estimer le poids que pesait cette terre en moyenne sur vos épaules? Answer to my estimates. Réponse. It was about 30 to 40 kilograms. Il devait peser environ 30 à 40 it, de it depends. Uh, Sometimes the dirt would weigh uh, heavier. Pesait plus lourd. And was that work? Carrying the dirt difficult Question. for you and Et ce painful? Travail était -il difficile pour vous, douloureux? Sao, ya, sao, sao, clang. Answer. Réponse. Very painful, and sometimes I had uh, muscle. Cramps et douloureux. On Parfois, j'avais des crampes calves. And, uh, au mollet. Pain, uh, the, uh, the work was so painful, uh, Le travail était vraiment douloureux legs. pour mes jambes. You've mentioned that you had a Question. quota of four cubic meters of earth to carry every day. Who was it who would check to see if you had met your quota in a day? Answer. The big unit chief. C'était le chef de la grande unité. And he would, uh, walk and watch us C'est lui qui nous surveillait le soir. You also said in your supplementary information Vous form, avez également dit dans votre formulaire I'll quote here. When the moon waxed, they also had each of us dig Au two cubic lune, meters of earth until 10.30 p.m. before we stopped, close quote. Can you please tell us approximately how many nights per month did you work until 10.30 p.m.? Pourriez-vous nous dire de façon approximative combien de fois vous avez dit dû ainsi travailler jusqu'à 22h30 I don't like that. President, please hold on. Le président, veuillez attendre, s'il vous plaît. Civil party. 
when the moon waxed, uh, we would work at night. We worked only once a month. Nous ne travaillons ainsi qu'une fois par mois. And on those days, given that you had the, the previous four cubic meter and the additional two cubic meter, that meant that you had a six cubic meter quota for the entire day. Is that correct? Um, uh, thank you, Mr. President. I have an observation, not necessarily. Not Merci, Monsieur le Président. Le Président, le Président. veuillez attendre, s'il vous plaît, Madame la partie civile, Maître Copé, à la parole. Uh, Maître Copé, merci, Monsieur le um, Président. Ce n'est pas une objection, mais une observation. J'ai compris que le testimonie des parties civiles devait être une quota de 4 J'ai compris que la partie civile parlait d'un quota de 4 mètres cubes à atteindre avec les autres membres du groupe. Donc, divisé par 2, ça serait, par personne, techniquement parlant, 2. L'on pourrait diviser um, donc ce chiffre par deux, ce qui ferait deux mètres cubes par personne. If that's my understanding, then maybe the civil party could confirm this. Moi, j'avais compris cela, mais peut-être que la partie civile pourrait confirmer. Uh, I'm happy to rephrase, Mr. President. L'accusation. Je peux reformuler, Monsieur le Président. On, uh, Mr. Nran, on the days that you had to work until 10:30 at night. Les jours où vous deviez travailler Did you and your partner have a requirement et vos to dig a total of six cubic meters, to dig and carry a total of six cubic meters of earth in that day? Cubes de terre. 